Hello everyone, MBX Adores James in Hawaii today. In this video, we would like to share a tip um, how to make a super clean um, cell drain point. And this is very common that you need to sell the draw wiring, electrical wiring thing. You know, every time you work in a car or in a motorhome or caravan or trailer or boat or truck, okay? and soldering is very simple everyone can do that 100 percent however to make it super clean tight and nice then it is something that probably you need um, a little bit of um, tips or tools and something to start with so at first you need a uh, good soldering you know material and you need a good soldering too. That's very, very important key to get a clean soldering section. The reason because a good material will melt quick and get over the you know the joint point very, very firm and nice and tight and as you want. But if you get something not good, uh, you will see it uh, you know a very different. The second thing is the soldering tool, which actually need to be uh, hit up very quickly and get a good hit to melt the soldering material. So in this case, actually, I can share with you what we use. We actually use this uh, soldering here, and it is called solder white. You know. Um, and the, another point is depending on what job you are doing and what you know side of the wiring that you are soldering, then it will relate to the side of the uh, soldering uh, you know wire over here. Um, in general, we found that uh, for our you know car trucks and uh, electrical wiring works, we are very happy with the one millimeter diameter you know of the soldering wire here. And this one we bought it from, you know, the local supplier here, and it's absolutely the one, the very good one that we like, and we use it every time. So it makes it very clean and uh, would work for us. Now the second thing is about the, the important tool. Okay, so that's the the soldering uh, tool. Okay, here is our tool. You can see this one is the tool that we have here. That is the hand held too um, and it looks <clears throat> it looks very simple but actually this one heat up instantly <clears throat> and it will melt the uh, soldering point um, soldering material very very instantly <clears throat> this one will use a direct 240 volts from the electricity and that is the the very best soldering tool that we have even it doesn't look very fancy but it works really really nice um so what we mean is it will heat up instantly okay now that's two key points for the game now the next thing you want to do is about the wiring and twisting so generally there's few technical that you want to join those one first by hand and remember the cleaner your hands is the cleaner the in you know the soldering point will be because the you know the moisture from your finger can make a layer on the top of the material here and it will make the soldering point useless in many cases especially if in case you get the wrong diameter of the wiring cable here you get the you know wrong material which means cheaper and not very pure quality of the soldering wire and if in case you use the uh, soldering tool which is not good enough to heat up the wiring so it heat up very slow very slow i mean half minute is or 20 second is slow already for soldering you know technique and we are talking about instant heat up so during two to be a good one now after you have the 
clean hands, dry hands, we prefer to use the glove because the glove will make sure there's no moisture on the glove. At least we don't have that stuff on the finger, you know, don't have the moisture, don't have the dirt from the hands, so it won't get on the top of the wiring here. And now what we do is, how do we get those on together? Many times we see people do this and then use hand twist, 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 twist and then uh, make it like, you know, a joy like this and then bend it over. Okay, that's one technique, but it certainly will not make it clean and, and you know, neat because after you solder that way, it actually will make another double thickness of the cable here and when you tap along, it will make it look, you know, twice or triple bigger of the cable so what we do and recommend to do to get a very clean and nice installation point over here is you twist those one together put it like at the length you prefer and then two hand twist okay and you better give it three twists so you can see that at this moment it is very almost straight almost straight by itself okay very straight by itself okay so you can see that and now that is ready to be soldered okay that is clean now when you solder look make sure you don't solder it on the plastic material at the bottom especially important part at the bottom here you better get the cloth or anything to avoid the material drop down because it is hot and it will melt some other thing now okay look at this just heat up this one and leave this here close to the material as possible and then it will melt into the place so yep okay so you can see that the first layer of the material already get in And the second. Okay. So it's already in place. Okay. Very nice, tight, and firm. And that's enough of the soldering on the section here. You can pull this one out. If you want to detect this one, either you have to desolder it or you have to cut it. And that's how we actually make the nice soldering session. And hopefully this will have someone to do the same thing. Um, and enjoy it, okay? And thanks for watching this. And we'll see you on another one. Thank you.